It's no secret that I love eyeshadow palettes. Pretty much most of my YouTube videos are about eyeshadow palettes. Many eyeshadow palettes are just so pretty that I don't want to stick them in a drawer. So I've come up with several ways on how I store and display all my eyeshadow palettes. First up are these clear stackable polystyrene cubes. They're from the container store and are meant for things like post-its or small memo pads. I personally use them to store smaller square or rectangular palettes. Next up are these white lacquered boxes from the container store. These boxes fit all kinds of palettes nicely and I use them to store my smaller rack palettes. One of my favorite ways to store palettes is using a clear nail polish rack. I got this one from Amazon. You can store all kinds of palettes on them by either stacking them tightly upright or leaning them so you can see them all easily. Another great way to store palettes, especially bigger ones, is by putting them on a bamboo easel. These bamboo easels are from the container store and are meant to display books or decorative plates, but I use them for makeup palettes. Next up, another office storage option, a clear letter document sorter. These are also from the container store and are perfect for storing medium-sized palettes like the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. My favorite way to store and display large palettes is using a dish rack. I got this wooden tiered dish rack from Amazon and it really allows me to display my prettiest palettes while still making them accessible. A fun and inexpensive way to store palettes is by using a desktop document letter sorter. I got this one from Target. The last suggestion I have is to use bookends. You can find simple ones like these just about anywhere, or look for more elaborate ones depending on your personal taste. The best part about bookends is that you can expand them to add more palettes as your collection grows. So those are my top ways to store and display your eyeshadow palettes. If you want to check them out further, I've included all the links in the description box. Be sure to let me know which idea was your favorite in the comments. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video!